Hi guys, good morning. I know this video is a little blurry and I apologize, I'm doing it from my computer. My phone is um, running low on space so I didn't have enough time in order to make the, vid the video, the message that I wanted to make. It's kind of a longer, it's going to be kind of a longer video. Um, but I wanted to share something um, that is being put upon my heart right now. Um, I awoke this morning with a very strong message that said basically, I mean it wasn't in quote unquote word for word, but it was more of an energetic message. It just was very strong in my system and in my mind. Um, you, in order to fulfill your Dharma, Rachel, in order to create the dream life that you want, and by dream life I don't mean just things that I want personally, but like doing my soul's mission here, um, doing my, um, fil fulfilling my calling, um, and helping others with their own spiritual path. Um, but I have a lot of personal desires too that I want. Um, and that I know that is for me. Um, it, it was basically saying you've got to hunker down and really get serious about your spiritual work. Um, I, up to this point, I have been pushing myself out. Um, I made a video, the first video I made on YouTube was about spirit pushing me over the cliff. Well, I'm over the cliff now. <laughs> and I couldn't get away from it if I wanted to. I have always been a spiritual person. I've always been, when I was little, it was more on the religious side. I remember when I was in middle school, I would just sit there and read my Bible and um, read spiritual books or whatever and uh, Christian-based romance novels and, um, you know, that had like Bible stuff referenced and stuff like that. Um, but, I, but I had always had that desire within me to develop myself inwardly, not just mentally, but spiritually. It's always been there. And even though I went through a hiatus period in my 20s where I went completely bonkers crazy. <laughs> um, now in my 30s, I, especially now I'm 35, I'm in the middle of my 30s. But it's not just my age, guys. It's like all of a sudden there's just like this, I'm being put in a position in my life where I'm being forced to go within. But in a good way, like I want to, you know, like it's the want is there. Um, because I know that there's something big, big coming ahead and there's a lot of change and transition happening. And so I've got to concentrate right now on purifying myself, on healing those parts of me that I am still resisting, um, really just doing the work. And I have a long ways to go, but I know that um, it's going to pay off because of the things that are ahead that I know that are ahead. Um, I know what my dharma is. I know what my calling is. I know what is meant for me based on my heart's desires and just a knowing of what I'm meant to do. Um, and that can play out in many ways and it doesn't matter because I'm just going to allow God to show me the way. Um, but anyway, I wanted to um, share a couple because I get really inspired by um, by movies and by music. Um, and the first thing that I wanted to share was um, I love the movie Titanic so much. It's one of my all-time favorite movies. I went probably at least three, two or three times to see it in the in the um, movie theaters when I was a teenager. But the one one of the parts that speaks to this, what I'm talking about, is um, ja so Rose is trying to commit suicide on the front of the boat. I, I laugh, but it's not funny. Um, but what I'm laughing about is that Jack comes up and tries to make light of it and try to get her to, you know, not do it or whatever by being lighthearted um, and making conversation and stuff. And... Uh, so she's like, you know, like, what is this guy doing? And, and she's like, go away. And he, <laughs> he was like, I, I can't, I'm, I'm involved now. You jump, I jump. And it was the most beautiful, one of the most beautiful scenes out of that whole movie that I just, and I think everybody can agree with me on that. Um, 
and then of course that you jump I jump is referenced um, later in the film um, it's, a, it's a really beautiful film and it, and it speaks to where I'm at in my life it's like um, I'm in too deep you know so this leads me to um, the there's a song by Emmett Finn that's called Into the Deep, but actually in the, I'm trying to find the lyrics. Okay, here it is. Um, in the um, in the song, it says, now I'm in too deep. And um, the lyrics are so beautiful. And I, I want to read the whole thing to you because the song is really, it's a love song, just like, you know, the Titanic reference was a romantic reference point. But it's the same kind of, you do have a romance with your spirituality. It is a very um, deep and profound experience. And it is tied to your romance life. Well, at least for me, I want it to be. I want it to be um, directly tied to it. Um, secrets in my head haunt me in my sleep. When you're lying next to me, things I shouldn't say stuck between my teeth. I wonder if you see perfect shade of silence underneath your eyelids. How am I going to leave? I can't. <laughs> Pull me like the waves. Wash me off my feet. Drift away with me. Beauty on the inside like diamonds of gold. When you show me underneath. Now I'm in too deep. Now I'm in too deep. I'm weightless now. In your gravity, I'll float away with you into the deep. I'm weightless now. In your gravity, I'll float away with you into the deep. And then it, it says that one more time, that, that whole phrase. Well, four more times. <laughs> but it's a beautiful song. And uh, yeah, I mean, once you get to that point, there's no return. And uh, I've just really come to a place in my life where I just, I know what I want and I'm just going to go after it. And it, I don't care how it looks on paper. I don't care how people perceive it. I don't care what people think anymore. I'm just going to do what is in my heart to do. And I cannot turn back now. I'm in too deep. I'm like Jack and with Rose and Titanic. I'm, I'm, I'm too involved now is what he says in the film. You jump, I jump and I can't go back. And um, so this is my coming out statement, not just that I'm doing videos again and that I'm, you know, writing, writing is my number one, um, but also that I am going to really work on myself um, as much as I can um, to basically come more into alignment, into union with my higher self, with God, so that I can properly fulfill my mission here. Um, I mean, I would consider myself a light worker. That might be, that might sound really um, conceited or whatever. I, I don't care. I, that's who, that's what I consider myself to be. I mean, I try to give love and light where I can. I, I, I try never to spread negativity. Um, I have my days. I mean, I really do have my days and, and I'm, I get grumpy and I, and I, spill my junk onto others sometimes. I do. Um, and we all do that. But I, in general, I'm always conscious of the fact that I want to spread um, po not just positivity, but the light, you know, the light. So anyway, um, reach out to me if you, if any of you who see this video want coaching um, or you, uh, you just need to talk um, it doesn't have to be me, like, telling you what to do, which I wouldn't anyway. The, the, coaching, the whole point of coaching is trying to dig into um, why you're thinking what you're thinking, um, coaching you through uh, your emotions and, and, and digesting and understanding why you're feeling what you're feeling, why you're experiencing what you're experiencing, that kind of stuff. It's just, on, it's, it's getting you on the path to healing is basically what coaching is for. And um, I also know a lot about health. Um, my training was actually in health coaching, but I prefer the spiritual life coaching path. Um, so if you wanna talk to me, you can. And um, I plan on getting a blog up um, ASAP, which I say that, 
but now I've really got to do it. <laughs> anyway, I love you guys, and uh, I hope you have a good day and um, a good rest of the week, and I love you all. Bye.